name's Laura Jones. I'm 24 years old. I started dancing when I was about five. So I've kind of always been a dancer. I've always really enjoyed dancing. At about the age of 15, 16, I decided to go and do A-level dance at college. Um, but I got one week into my course and I had a spinal injury, which meant I had to have a year off um, in hospital for recovering and rehabilitation. I'm the first person in a wheelchair to have completed 100% of the A-level course dance syllabus, which is pretty cool. I really like working for Stopgap Dance Company because we have the opportunity to do lots of different things. We get to perform regularly and we also get to lead workshops with so many different groups um, from very young to old and everywhere in between and in all sorts of different organisations and schools. Um, groups with different abilities so it's always something different but it's a really good company to be in as a dancer. My name is Lucy Bennett and I'm a dancer in Stopgap Dance Company. It's a contemporary dance company. When I auditioned for Stopgap I was kind of interested in their kind of refreshing way of combining dance and theatre and integrating people with disabilities with able-bodied dancers. My name is Christopher James Pavia and um, I joined Stopgap in 1997 and um, I came along as an apprentice. Before I became a professional dancer, I, um, I did a GNV Key Foundation which is um, dancing and performing arts. My name is Dan Watson and I'm 26 years old and I've been a dancer with Stopgap for five years. What keeps me in Stopgap is the fact that it keeps developing and hasn't stayed where it is. That's what's interesting to me. It's a company that supports its artists, a cooperative in some respects. It's a company that gives you a lot and it's a company that kind of is unique in the sense of its balance of, of professional artistic integrity, um, integrity and um, the sort of community side of what they do and the educational side of what they do. We practice what we preach because it's a very new area. It's constantly developing and Stopgap seems to be at the forefront of its development and that's really exciting. It's also a pain because you're having to invent everything. There's no blueprints for what you're doing. So that's really exciting to be part of that and, and to be contributing on a, on a national level and possibly an international level. Going, we've been abroad and integrated dance seems to be a very, very new thing um, over there. Of working with disabled people and working with them in the way that we do is a very new and unusual thing to a lot of people and quite an eye-opener, um, which is what I found. It's, it's been a constant eye-opener for me and challenged a lot of things that I believed in. And, that's really important, I think, to have that. Think about five years ago when we were kind of banging on people's doors, going, hello, explaining what integrated dance was, and then showing them, and then going, oh, right, to now almost being um, accepted to an extent as the mainstream, as part of the uh, national dance scene.